we're looking at the Onuma System web gallery viewer um, of a SEPS project export that was exported as a SEPS BIM Excel file imported into Onuma and then in the Onuma system it goes and grabs the latest BIM template of the spaces and equipment looks at the SEPS data from the 1691 equipment for example and the number of pieces of equipment in the room and it adjusts the space and equipment to match that project in other words the equipment in the room not only is the default template but also any additional pieces of equipment that were changed added or subtracted by the um, SEPS project manager or the uh, SEPS user so this has data associated with it. Uh, we're in a viewing mode, so we can't actually edit data, but we can actually view it. So for example, if I go into this space, uh, it has a DNTG1 designation from SEPS and the name of the space and any other associated attributes. And if we drill into the space itself, it has the equipment, the equipment layout and associated data. Uh, so you can see um, a dental chair, for example, if we open this up, the SEPS data itself and the attributes that came from SEPS. And not only the SEPS data, but this is the SEPS data up here, it's also streaming in um, uh, Atania data in real time uh, from uh, web services linked to Atania. So from the SEPS output, it says I'm a dental chair. Here's the generic information from SEPS. We have GUIDs that are coming from SEPS that are unique ID associated with this instance of this piece of equipment and the project and other information and the Atania planner in this case the medical planner is making additional decisions in parallel as the uh, the designer might be laying out the space and saying okay here's a uh, actual manufacturer information for a specific dental chair that we've decided to make a decision on which means that medical planners and designers can work in parallel the designers could be doing the layout the medical planner could be associating additional information and the designer could even draw from that and say okay let's confirm that this particular chair fits in the room in addition to that there is um, a, a qr code that was auto generated in onuma so in onuma as this equipment was imported from seps and created a bim from it um, a bark a unique qr code was associated with a piece of equipment which can be used to uh, attach to the piece of equipment or for other purposes either on screen or in paper format so this exact same project is also visible in the Onuma 3D app on the iPad. So here's this the exact same project, uh, data associated with it. You can uh, drill into one space, for example, and, and see the information about that and the, the data associated with that and the information about a specific uh, piece of equipment. So you can manually drill into it by just clicking on the screen. And the same thing here, the, the SEPS data and the Atania data. So I'm going to try one other thing here is to show how a QR code could be used if you're on site or if you're doing some planning exercises and you want to to find a piece of equipment you can obviously poke around and find the right one to, or do a search or if we open up uh, this view again and I go into uh, the barcode scanning or the QR code scanning and point to the screen and bring up the QR code. It's going to go really faster. As soon as the QR code shows up on screen, it's going to zoom to the, um, there we go. It picked up the QR code and it zoomed into the space. And there's the, uh, the space now uh, with the uh, same chair, the dental chair. And if I pull up this dental chair and look at the data, it's again the SEPS data and then the Atania data being linked to and streaming in. There's the Atania data showing up from the Atania server in real time web services. And the designers can then uh, do things like I say, let's walk around inside this room and see what the other pieces of equipment are there. So you can actually see inside the room and say, oh, there's a boom arm up here. Same thing if you click on the boom arm, it pulls up the, um, the information about um, that particular piece of equipment.